Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have some pretty big PlayStation 5 restock news. We have some major, we have some memes going on too. We got some memes, but also after the memes, we also actually have some pretty big news as well. We never had a really chance to go and cover and talk about with Joe Biden also announcing an actual really big, like $40 billion fund to basically go help out everyone go get their consoles as well. I want to go touch on that. But also we had Mr. Our big old boyo, Conan O'Brien, which I'm not really sure. Is he like, do people still like him or not? I'm actually not sure i always i never hated him but i also generally watch late night i'm i'm a you know a millennial i don't know <laughs> but anyway when it comes to that stuff we also have conan o'brien throwing in his two cents too as well for the playstation restock just a lot of really weird things but the main thing i want to go talk about is more of the biden deal that we kind of touched on a few weeks back but also giving us a little more updated actual numbers uh and specifics and all that stuff as well which is insane how much money is going to be invested into semiconductors and making all these things consoles xboxes cars uh, PCs, iPhones, etc. Even easier to go and make. So we have a lot to go kind of cover up for this video. Hopefully everyone's having a very nice, lovely Sunday. Thank you guys all for watching the previous videos earlier on throughout today. We've actually had like a little bit of fun stuff because we're waiting to know more. So for real videos, kind of popping off for restock news, etc. Because usually the weekends are a little bit more dry, but we got some good news apparently. As well, if you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed. We are going to be giving out a PlayStation 5 very soon once my stimulus check actually goes and gets. If anything, go leave a comment down below if you guys have actually gotten your stimulus check as well. I'm still waiting for mine. Kind of stinks, but maybe on Monday or Tuesday, I'll have a chance to go and get it. As well, guys, make sure you guys like the video if you guys enjoy. Comment down below if you guys, all your thoughts, opinions, and all that good stuff. And as well, where is that the Amazon link for the PS5? If you guys want to go check that stuff on out for warehouse sales, digital sales, or whatever. The Twitter and Twitch stream, would definitely love you guys follow up the Twitter. And of course, also the Weeble. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys go get free stock and free money and Coinbase if you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. It's always linked down below. So let's go start off with the meme news and actual news afterwards. So if you guys did not know, we had Mr. Conan O'Brien, Mr. Late Night himself, go and get on the meme wars on over here, where he basically tweeted out today. Just kind of funny enough, this was even on the r slash like PS5 Reddit for some odd reason. I don't know how this is making such big news, but I feel like with everyone else being like, oh my god, I feel like I should go talk about it as a PlayStation Sony channel. But basically, we got the confirmation that Mr. President Biden just announced official notice right now, right here this Sunday afternoon. By the end of 2022, every American adult who wants one will have access to the PlayStation 5. And of course, I got to go work in my own subtle plug that I favored my own tweet on. You guys can make fun of me for that one in the comments. Or then you just follow my Twitter and get one earlier. You want to know what? This was not a good plug. It's not going too good so far. <laughs> Maybe you're off the video. But <laughs> there you go. Also, if anything, the one major thing I don't want to have Biden go and do is give me back my hour I lost from sleeping. I am so tired today. If you guys are in the same boat, let me know. But I kind of want to go do a follow-up because it's kind of a little bit of meme. People like good old Conan jokes. Ha, ha, ha. But when it comes to that stuff, he's like, hey. Mr. Biden's going to go make everyone have their PS5s by 2022. But overall, if you guys did not go and see a few weeks back, that basically there was an executive order that Joe Biden was working on to essentially go and research into the actual semiconductor, you know, shortages, more so try to go build up actual semiconductor processing here up in America. And as of right now, we actually, I never saw the exact numbers or specifics. Maybe I more so missed it, or there's just more in passing news. But apparently Joe Biden is now seeking a 37 billion dollar package for trying to go make make research and develop more semiconductors here in america so basically to go move a lot more stuff from foreign stuff like china japan etc uh india whatever they're going to be making it on to more so making developing and researching more semiconductors here in america and as you guys do not know or you guys are new or kind of missed that news a while back basically the semiconductor shortage is which was like the major thing that's kind of contributing towards the gpus because gpus use the semiconductors car shortages PlayStation shortages, Xbox shortages, even the Nintendo Switch shortage, uh, shortages a little bit. We'll also actually have some Switch news uh, later on throughout today, so be on the lookout for that. But basically, all these major electronics, controllers, consoles, computer parts, whatever, are all contributed towards this actual major semiconductor thing. So as of now, Joe Biden wants to put a $37 billion bill, we'll kind of cover the article really quick, uh, to basically go and, well make more consoles essentially kind of always leads down to it the initial part also was actually had sony uh sony nvidia i believe it is and apple to come up to or maybe it was microsoft to actually go up to there and be like hey 
We want to go and speak to the president. We want to actually have more help for the scarcity problem with the semiconductors. So this is specifically targeting the PS5, specifically Sony themselves have reached out to government for help for this on the previous thing. So as I mentioned, uh, Biden is looking to see $37 billion to accelerate the chip pro uh, production amid PS5 and Xbox shortages mixed that in so we have a quick little article we're going to go cover on here just in case you guys want to actually have actual news besides just conan o'brien going and saying we're all getting our consoles pretty soon mr conan how about you go give out like 100 consoles we all know you're rich i would give out more if i could so make sure you guys are sub for that but uh my stimulus check only goes so far <laughs> but anyway so kind of covered into the article itself we do have the u.s president joe biden is seeking a solution to the current shortage of semiconductor chips if you guys didn't see this article before it kind of ties into like previous stuff i just never the specific number which is insane uh which has resulted in a scarcity of next-gen consoles on the market the shortage of chips is linked to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on manufacturing in the United States which I'm sure you guys have known for a while basically just as hard to get the consoles we're working on it we're still making consoles so still are restocks happening but as we've known we've had this issue for a while and according to Reuters uh Biden signed an executive order that will review supply chains for four critical products including the semiconductor chips pharmaceuticals, rare earth minerals, which also kind of goes into a little bit with this stuff because you have to use a lot of things like copper, etc. Even sometimes gold for certain technologies when it comes to like internal things like the GPUs, CPUs, etc. Not always, but it does kind of go into it as well, which is a lot. And of course, also large capacity batteries for electronic ve electric vehicles. And these are all things always tied into for the semiconductors as we talked about, but now we have the specific number of the $37 billion. This might be like slightly older news, but kind of ties into like what we were talking about before with uh, I kind of want to give an update on it either way. So, and the order addresses shortages in key communications, technology, transportation, energy, food production, public health, and defense products. Uh, so basically, you notice know, more. Well, maybe put uh, the PS5 and Xbox on communication and technology over there. And then the greater supply of semiconductor chips could accelerate the production of the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S consoles. The Semiconductor Industry Association, the SIA, reports that the United States semiconductor companies represent. 47% of all semiconductor chip sales worldwide, although only 12% of the chips are manufactured in the United States. That is a very interesting number to go look on through over here. Very, very intriguing to go and say the least, just based on how hot, like 47% to me is a pretty, pretty high actual number just in general. It's very, very insane. There's just a, a margin on it. Uh, I'm directing a senior officials of my administration to work with industrial leaders to identify solutions to the semiconductor shortfall. Biden says Congress has authorized a bill, but they need $37 billion to make sure we have the capability. I'll push for that as well. Very interesting numbers too as well, because $37 billion, that's kind of a lot, but we also did just go have Congress go and pass the stimulus check. I'm sure you guys hopefully will be getting that sometime soon. As I mentioned, you guys can leave a comment down below if you guys are still waiting to get yours or not. I'm still personally winning for mine. Hopefully I'll get it sometime soon. Hopefully all of you guys will get it soon, so you guys can either buy consoles like PS5s, Xboxes, or have enough for bills and food, etc., depending on, like, you know who you are. Uh, but I think that should actually be arriving in your bank account sometime soon, so you guys all know. And then in December, the SIA predicted that the global chip sales would grow from 8.4 in 2021 from 2020's total of 4,300 billion. We kind of touched on some previous stuff. Up from the four, uh, it's actually a 5.1% growth, which is insane, just even from 2019 to 2020. So going from a 5.1 to an 8.4, both of those numbers are astronomically high. And the current ship shortage all starts with the unprecedented demand for personal computers and peripherals as the globe worked and attended school from home. So it also kind of factors in things like computers, laptops, cameras, as you guys are seeing this on, you know, Logitech cameras, even something like microphones as well can also go have these semiconductor chips, XLR cables, computer, computer keyboards, mouses, everything has semiconductors. We've been covering this news a lot on our channel as we've been watching the PlayStation 5 restacks everything so the fact that they even want to throw a 37 billion dollar bill to go and help out the actual playstation is insane as well also the fact that conan o'brien's making memes on this stuff also a little bit insane to go and say the least <laughs> to, at least my opinion so but uh yeah uh and patrick moore had the founder of the more insights a firm that studies the semiconductor industry a recent report from a theory analyst revealed that the supply limitations have kept new playstation xbox consoles from outselling their predecessors but thankfully as of now if you guys saw a few days back actually i think as of right now the playstation 5 
has officially broken a world record in terms of how many consoles it has sold. I think it's the number one highest selling console ever, ever, like basically compared to the Switch, PS4, PS3, Xbox, Xbox Series X, even the Wii, I believe it's even been now the Wii in terms of global sales in like such a, like a four month period or whatever. So basically, uh, yeah, uh, following Microsoft's most recent financial results, CFO Amy Hood said the company expects Xbox sales to still be constrained by supply during quarter one. We cover that news with the AMD news and stuff like that as well. A number of companies such as Huawei and Toyota stockpiled semiconductor chips prior to the shortage. Last week, Toyota, which raises full earnings uh, brought forecast by 54%. And these are insane numbers, by the way. Report that it didn't expect to reduce its production rate. So it said stockpiled four months worth of chips in anticipation for the shortfall. So we kind of touched on a little bit of this news beforehand, but I kind of wanted more touch on the actual 37 billion and the also Conan tweet because I still I feel I just feel like Conan kind of just randomly just shows up at random times and they're like, hey, what's up? Here's a joke about Xbox like four months later. Like I I never expect it, but I saw a lot of the people also retweet it on the PS5 restock stuff. I saw it on Reddit, so I'm like, you want to know what? If we can kind of have a big update on the Biden story in terms of how much money they want to put for the 30. Seven billion dollar bill they want to expect to go past and also want to pass for domestic semiconductor research and growth. I mean, why not? We at least could have some sort of real information mixed in with the memes all as well. So kind of cool stuff. A lot of money, but this also might be really good just for foreign future growth. And when it comes to, you know, iPhones, consoles, or maybe even things like Sony may even want to go move it more so local and try to work with American people to kind of work on production or work on production for the PS6 or the Slims in the future. If we have actually good uh, growth for factories, etc., it might be good. Same things with like Tesla as well. Maybe they want to go and stay in American things because we actually have better semiconductor research or production as well so all around kind of good news especially because if we could have 40 billion dollars worth of infrastructure that definitely number one takes a lot of strain off of things like in china japan etc but also number two is just nice for us and for like our normal country to actually have a chance to go make our own products and then kind of have personal uh economic growth always kind of good so that's about it for me on this video i kind of want to go and touch on this and kind of chime on this as i said it was a little bit more on the older news but i want to go and at least go and elaborate on it because we didn't touch on this video before so kind of knowing that we have another 40 billion dollar on the way bill in the future might be kind of nice for all of us that are still out there trying to find our consoles though of course it would take a little while for it to actually get the infrastructure built moved on up etc but this also just might be really good news for like the playstation 6 and xbox if anything so thank you guys all so much for watching if you guys are brand new make sure you guys go and subscribe if you guys would like would love to have you guys here by the notifications as well we also are giving away a ps5 so make sure you guys are subscribed for that that's all you have to do to enter leave a like if you guys enjoy we have the twitter and twitch stream a link down below if you guys want to follow the amazon link for the ps5 is always linked down below if you guys want to check for warehouse sales cancellations or restocks as well we also do have the uh weeble sign up for weeble deposit 100 you can go get free stock and free money and coinbase is go buy 100 dollars worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go and get free bitcoin love you guys all so much i'll see you guys up in the next one i hope you guys all have a good rest of your days nights and whatever and i hope you guys enjoy we actually have some switch news as well coming on up pretty soon love you guys all so much i'll see you guys up in the next one